It's Groundhog Day. And guess what? He didn't see a shadow. So you know what that means? Six more weeks of crappy weather. That's right. Six more weeks of this crap. I can't take another day of it. Oh my God. There's another storm brewing and I don't know if we're gonna get hit with it or not. I don't think so, but they're not ruling it out and it's gonna be like 20 more inches of snow. And I don't think I could take another, another um, blizzard like we had last week. And then right before that, we had another blizzard. I mean, we had two in a row and this would be the third one. So I've had it with this. I want the groundhog to die. I just want him to die, okay? <laughs> He's not my friend anymore. <laughs> I know he's cute. I know he has a cute little nose, but he's not my friend. He's not my friend. So guys, not only is it Groundhog Day, but we have Valentine's Day coming. So remember your sweethearts. Remember the people that are dear and sweet to you, like your moms, your kids, your sweetheart, your significant other, whoever it is, your Ted. In my case, this is my little buddy. Hey, Ted. This is my little buddy right here, is my Ted. And look, he's got his flowers back here. He's got his, he loves these flowers. And he's got a candle and he's got a Valentine heart and he's got all his favorite things right there for him to enjoy. Yeah, Ted's my sweetheart. So remember your sweetheart, Valentine's Day is February the 14th and decorate your van if you want to. I always do a little bit of decoration. I just put this little red heart every year um, I usually hang it on my front door of my house, but I brought it in and put it inside the van for my trip. And I brought some fresh flowers into my van because I love fresh flowers. And I brought some of those in and stuck them in a little... Actually, you know what I have these in? They're kind of cool. I don't know if you've ever seen these little... I call them Pilsner glasses. But they fit perfectly into your cup holders in the van. So I just took some of my fresh flowers that I got for my birthday put them in a Pilsner glass and they fit nicely down into that cup holder. So they look really, really nice there. And the other thing that I wanted to show you guys today is I got a subscription to what's called Girl Camper from my sister for my birthday. So I wanted to show you guys this little magazine. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. This is the winter 2022 issue publication and it has some really cool stuff in it. The editor is this lady named Janine Petit. This chick right here, up in the corner, she's the editor. And it's a pretty cool magazine. They have contributors that contribute articles to the magazine. We have a big article in here on Lake Havasu, which is somewhere I'd really like to go visit. When my grandson goes out to Arizona um, for college, I definitely am going to be visiting Lake Havasu. Whether I'm going to go in my van or just fly out there and do some day trips, I'm not sure. Just rent a car. But definitely going to go to Lake Havasu. So there's a lot in here about Lake Havasu. Um, they also have the Arkansas State Park featured in this issue. I've never been, but it looks pretty cool. They give you places to stay. And of course, Yosemite National Park is featured in here as well. And here's one in uh, Indian Cave State Park in Schubert, Nebraska. This is just a lady's favorite campground. So she does a big review and does some really beautiful photography in this magazine, colored photography. Hey, this is a really good article. This is called Traveling with Pets. And I travel with a pet, my teddy bear. So I definitely want to read that. Oh, and this is about, remember when I did the video on Ritterat, which was the desert camping? This tells you how to keep those rodents and things out of your vehicle and different tips. I know down here in the corner, they talk about mothballs. There's all kinds of tips that they give you. Oh, and then of course, a magazine would not be complete without some good recipes. And this one here does have um, some pretty decent recipes. There's a flank steak recipe in here, um, hot milk drinks, 
food hacks. There's an upgraded herb mushroom risotto recipe. Oh, and here's a cool article. I read this one. This lady is 100 years old. Her name is Betty Reed Soskin. She is a National Park Service Ranger. She has been doing this for over 40 years. And then back here, it gives you some auto accessories for your road trips. It gives you all different auto accessories, which I happen to have this one, the Thule. I have. I have that one. Yeah. Oh, and here's the nest. Remember the nest by, um, this was just discontinued like two years ago. This was an Airstream product. Um, it's a really beautiful little pull along trailer by um, Airstream. And it's just the right size for a couple. And it's really adorable. She, re she really made hers nice. Some decorating ideas. Some solar ads, some solar advertisements. And this thing called Betty's, B-E-D-D-Y, Betty's Bed. It's a really big thing right now. Everybody's getting them for their RV mattresses or your van life mattress. It actually goes and encases your mattress inside, but it's really, really pretty. It's got like the lace on it. I don't know if you can see it. It's just a really nice look, nice finished look. I can't use that because I have the cushions that separate. So I can't use that. Oh, and here's a really cool idea to make a candle using Crisco. You just take a 32 ounce metal paint can with a lid, a roll of toilet paper. Oh, this one's the one with the alcohol, the rubbing alcohol. But there's another one where you use Crisco. Just gives you some emergency burner ideas. Hey, and with the power going out at my house, this is good to know. I was without power for several hours. So yeah, guys, that's my new magazine that my sister got me for my birthday. I'm thrilled to death with it. Um, I also have uh, a subscription to go online to look at stuff. And I have some free stuff that I get from this magazine. I'm going to have to really check it out to see what all I get for free. But I do get a lot of free stuff because of this um, subscription. So that's the other thing I wanted to show you guys today. The other thing I wanted to show you, remember I told you I use a microwave, I use a little ceramic heater when I have shore power. So if I'm at a campsite that has shore power, I can plug all that stuff in. The only thing I forgot to mention to you is, and I should have mentioned this because if you can't use like a regular standard power surge strip like you would use at home. What you have to get is this kind of a power strip. This is a 20 amp power strip. It costs a little money guys, but you will be safe when you use one of these. So you literally could plug like your microwave in. This has this one that I have as one, two, three, four, five, six places to plug in. This is your, I forget how you pop this up. That's your um, button right there underneath that plastic thing. And then does have holes on the back if you would want to mount it. In my case, I just have it laying in my van beside my Jackery. So basically what this does is it provides you the amperage that you will not have a fire when you're using um, these high wattage uh, devices like a microwave, a ceramic heater. Now your appliances like electrical appliances like my Alexa, my um, computer, my, my phones, plugged in here that doesn't draw any amperage at all but my bigger items like my heater and my microwave and my coffee pot they draw more amperage my toaster draws 680 watts so you want to use one of these 20 amp surge protector plug uh, adapter things now this one I got they're expensive it was $78 but the other thing is it has a 15 foot cord on it so that's handy if you need it and you wanna plug it into another extension cord. You know how you go to your campsite and you have like a little lid, you pop it up. You wanna use at least a 12 gauge electrical extension cord. So what you're gonna need is a 12 gauge extension cord. It's gonna be a, normally it's a 15 amp cord, but then you're gonna need an adapter because your 20 amp surge protector has a 20 amp end on it. So, you, you know, that's a little different than your 15 amp end. 
So you're gonna have to get the little adapter, which I ordered one of those because I didn't know I needed it until just today, actually. It's, it was $26, I ordered the adapter and it'll plug into the end of my surge protector, the 20 amp uh, male end will plug into the female end and then the other end plugs into my standard 15 amp electrical cord. So that's only 12 inches long. So you have your 20 amp surge protector you have your little converter that converts the 20 amp end into a 15 amp end. And then you have your 12 gauge extension cord plugged into your um, shore power. Now, the reason why this is important is because if you don't do that, you will have a fire in your van, okay? And I went to my electrician before I decided to use these kinds of appliances in my van. And he's the one that gave me these tips and told me what to do to be safe. And of course, you always want to have um, easy fire spray in your van all the time. This stuff is, you just won't, you don't want to live without it. Or a fire, a little fire extinguisher. But definitely you want to have something like this when you're using these high power appliances in your van. So I forgot to talk about that the last time we did the video. And I really wanted to do that because, you know, you can't just use like, you know how you have your, your computer plugged in at home to a surge protector? You can't just use that standard surge protector um, for these types of appliances in your van. The rule of thumb too, he told me, was you only want to use about 2,000 watts at a time. So in other words, if you're running your microwave, that, that uses about 900 watts. The um, heater is about... 1200 watts at, at high when it's at low it's only about maybe 200 watts so if you're operating say at medium speed with your ceramic heater that's about 500 watts and your microwave is pulling 900 you're about at 2000 you know that's about all you want to run at the same time what i normally do is when i'm using my microwave i don't have anything else running i just have that only running I don't have my heater on. I don't have anything else on in the van, even with that 20 amp surge protector, because that 2000 watt uh, rule of thumb is, is gonna keep your van from starting on fire. And the other rule of thumb is like, let's just say I'm gonna run my little ceramic heater all night long, which I do. I run it all night long on low. Just run that, you know, don't have anything else except for your electrical components, like your phone or your, um, you know, anything that draws low wattage, you can have low amperage, you can have that plugged in, but don't have anything a major plugged in while you're running that heater at night, even with that surge protector. So I just wanted to give you guys those tips because when I did my last video about my microwave and all these different gadgets that I have, I didn't go into all that with you. And it is really, really important um, that you have the right power electrical type outlets and, and cordage and stuff like that with you. You don't want to plug your microwave directly into your Jackery. Um, I've done it already and it works. I mean, I can run it like that, but it's not the greatest because that Jackery does not have a grounding line inside of it. So there's no protection for your equipment. So it's better to have that plugged into the grounding source, which is your surge protector. And then you can always charge your jackery while you're running all your different appliances plug that into one of the outlets and charge your jackery the whole time so that you're always charging your jackery up while you're using all these appliances so that's the tip i hope it helps you guys if you have any questions please feel free to comment below and i'll answer them but these are things that i did not talk about in my last video and i really feel compelled to discuss it today because like i said you do not want to fire in your van um, as a result of using all these electrical appliances. You can only use them obviously when you're when you're somewhere where you have shore power. Like I said, I can use my microwave while I'm on the road. I can plug it in directly to my Jackery. I can plug my toaster directly into my Jackery because it's below the wattage that my Jackery can handle. I can still do that, you know, when I'm traveling, when I'm on, on my way to my destination. Um, and then I'm going to recharge that Jackery while I drive. So it's not like it's going to be uh, a bad thing, but definitely I will not be using my ceramic heater when I'm on the road. 
when I'm driving to my destination. I'll be using my Mr. Buddy heater. So that's just a few tips for you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm not going to do a long one today. I have a lot to do. Like I said, I'm still getting shoveled out. I still got a lot of snow to get rid of. But you guys know me. You know the deal. I'm ready to roll. Ruby's ready to roll. And best of all, we're ready for Valentine's Day. God bless you guys. Have a great week. Bye-bye.